studying in Germany. You finished school and now it's time for your future training or career. In some countries there's only one solution, studying. In Germany this is only one option. But of course you can also study here and this is becoming increasingly popular among foreign students. Why is that? Today as a part of our series on education in Germany, let's take a look at studying in Germany. After the USA, the UK and Australia, Germany is the fourth most popular country in the world for studying abroad. In the winter semester 2022-2023, more than 458,000 students came from abroad out of a total of around 2.9 million students in Germany. This represents around 15.8% of all students. The largest groups came from India, China and Turkey. As we can see here, around a third of school leavers started a degree course in 2000. In 2010, there was a rapid increase in the number of new students, which was due to the double abitur year, originally nine years of schooling, the gymnasium was changed to eight years. So there was a double abitur year in 2010 and the suspension of compulsory military service. Many school leavers no longer had to do a year of military or civilian service. This led to very full lecture halls and sometimes overcrowded universities that year. And while we are on the subject of history, let's look back a little further. The origins of the University of al Qarawiyin in modern-day Morocco lie in the madrasa founded there in 859. It is considered the oldest university in the world. The first universities in Europe were founded in Italy. In Parma, as early as 962, followed by Salerno and Bologna, Oxford and Paris at around 1200. This was followed in 1348 by the founding of the University of Prague, the first university in the Holy Roman Empire north of the Alps. This was followed in 1365 by Vienna, now the capital of Austria, and in 1386 by Heidelberg, the first university in what is now a German city. Originally, a university were almost always intended for theological studies. There were the liberal arts, which were of course far superior to the practical arts. Students studied grammar, rhetoric, dialectics, arithmetics, geometry, music and astronomy, which of course included astrology at the time. Later, legal and medical studies were added. The minor consecration that you received as a student were initially also the reason why a medical student was not allowed to be responsible for the death of a person and was therefore not allowed to perform operations. I have already mentioned this in this video about medicine in Germany. Heidelberg was followed two years later by the University of Cologne, then Würzburg, Leipzig and Rostock and many more so that today we have over 400 universities in Germany. Heidelberg is still famous today for its medical faculty. Until well into the 19th century the university degree was actually the doctorate, but there was also a magister which was initially equivalent to the doctorate. It was the technologically obsessed Kaiser Wilhelm II who also thought little of artistic education, who made the diploma degree for technicians possible in 1899. From 1950 there was then a standardized diploma or magister degree depending on the subject and a doctorate for further studies. Most German students therefore studied four and a half years for a diploma degree. In the Bologna process, the degrees were harmonized. For example, the bachelor's and master's degrees, known from the Anglo-Saxon regions, were gradually introduced in Germany from 1999 onwards, so that the four-diploma and diploma courses now became bachelor's and master's courses. 
At the beginning, there was no understanding of these courses. The intermediate diploma was only a first step towards a degree, whereas bachelor degrees should actually be sufficient to start a career in its own right. After a few years in the world of work, a subject-specific master degree course should ideally be chosen. In some degree courses, a bachelor's degree alone is not recognized in working world. For example, hardly anyone is hired with a bachelor degree in chemistry, but only with a master's degree. After all, you could hire someone with a chemical technical assistant degree who has roughly the same theoretical knowledge as a bachelor degree, but with far more practical experience. A bachelor degree in law is also not enough to work as a lawyer. In contrast, bachelor's graduates are also hired for commercial degree courses and may also be offered a suitable master's degree, sometimes even by the company. In some degree courses, a Staatsexamen, literally state examination, must also be passed. In state supervised professions, a state examination must be passed, sometimes with a first and second state examination. There are differences in the different areas, but the areas in which this regulation applies are human medicine, dentistry, veterinary medicine, pharmacy, food chemistry and law. Bachelor's degree programs are graded with credits, require between 180 and 240 credit points and usually last three, sometimes four years. Master's degree courses are also graded with credit, usually require 120 but sometimes only 90 or 60 credit points and can sometimes be consecutive to a previous bachelor's degree or sometimes chosen independently. The master's degree course lasts one or two years depending on the bachelor's degree. Students need a total of 300 credit points to complete a master's degree. You can then also pursue a promotion, doctorate, i.e. a doctoral degree. In this case, the master's graduate applies as a doctoral candidate and then usually spends three years researching the doctoral thesis. There is sometimes a problem here if the research repeatedly leads to negative results. Also, these negative results are important for the continuation of the research, which does not work out for the doctoral thesis. You usually want a positive result, which puts the doctoral student under increasing pressure. Medicine is a special case here, since the study of human medicine, including the corresponding specialization, takes around 10 years, the qualified doctor can then receive a doctorate in one year. Even though schools are a matter of the federal state, the entry requires for universities can vary slightly from state to state, just like the degree courses, the degrees and credits are mutually recognized, even Europe-wide among all participating nations thanks to the Bologna process. However, it may be that a university requires a certain subject, including credits, for the degree and therefore does not recognize a subject already completed by another university and you have to catch up on this required subject for the degree. Where can you actually study? In Germany, the places where you can study are called Hochschulen, literally translated as high schools. First, there are the universities, the oldest of the higher education institutions. These are not always referred as Universität, universities, such as the RWTH Aachen, which calls itself a Hochschule. Then there are the Fachhochschule, also known as University of Applied Science. Kunst- und Musikhochschulen, art and music colleges, are a special form of university. These do not always call themselves universities either, such as the Academy of Arts in Munich. All of these are public universities under the responsibility of the federal states. There are also ecclesiastical and private Hochschulen universities, universities of applied or business schools. Finally, there are Verwaltungshochschulen administrative colleges, where administrative staff study 
like the Police Academy in Hamburg. What is the difference? Universities are traditionally designed for research and teaching, while universities of applied science, as the name applied science suggests, often aim to apply knowledge in the workplace. This is why degree courses such as medicine, law, German or English studies, but also history or politics are mainly found at universities. Universities of applied science tend to offer business or technical courses. At administrative universities, there are courses related to administrative law. The main difference between a state and a private university or University of Applied Science is a financial contribution. As a result, private universities may have fewer students than the state universities and therefore the groups are smaller and more attention can be paid to the individual student. For example, some universities have 50,000 or more students, while some private universities have less than 1,000 students. Some private universities advertise their cooperation with industry, which means that a significant proportion of the tuition fees are sometimes paid by companies. In Germany, it is important that the degree is recognized by the state, staatlich anerkannt. So, if you are studying at a private university, Germans make sure that it is not just a diploma from the school, but that the degree, such as a bachelor's or master's degree, also enables you to continue studying at any other university later or possibly enter the civil service with a degree. As a rule, church universities do not charge a separate fee beyond the semester fee. The semester fee at a public and publicly funded university may be up to 500 euro, but is usually less. This usually includes a semester ticket, what is the opportunity to use local public transport regionally free of charge. Students from abroad must also be able to prove that they have enough money for the duration of their studies when studying at a university, currently 11,208 euro per year, what is 33,624 euro for a three years bachelor degree. This is usually enough to cover the current costs of living in Germany, but depending on the study location and the rent prices there, it can also be tied in a shared flat. There is rarely a campus with apartments provided by the university. Student halls of residence are often run by the local Studentenwerk, student union, and often have a long waiting list. If I'm seeing this correctly here in Hamburg, there are currently two vacancies out of 26 facilities with 4,400 places. Students therefore often get together and rent a normal apartment together as a Wohngemeinschaft, shared flat or WG in short, in which each student has a room and the kitchen or bathroom are shared. If you want to study alongside your job, you can also make use of universities. The Fernuni Hagen, for example, is a state university that offers distance learning and the costs here are also less than 500 euro per semester. There are also numerous other providers, some purely private or as a spin-off of a state university, but with considerably higher costs. When can you study? First of all, all students must have an entrance qualification. For universities, this is the German Abitur or the Matura in Austria or Switzerland. For universities of applied science, it is also the Fachabitur or vocational training and corresponding practical experience. Whether this applies to a specific school leaving qualification from abroad, especially if it is not from an EU country, should be checked with a relevant university. This website should make it possible to classify the foreign qualification in the German education system. However, it is apparently only available in Germany. If your degree is not recognized, this is not a problem, because foreign applicants are prepared for university studies in the Studienkollegs. These preparatory colleges are run by the state in all federal states, only in North Rhine-Westphalia have the preparatory colleges 
been closed and there are now only the Catholic run preparatory college in Mettingen and the Protestant run preparatory college in Bochum. The student colleagues also generally only charge a fee of less than 500 euro per semester, but here too the foreign student must provide proof of sufficient funds to cover the costs. Once you have the relevant qualification, what next? You have to enroll at a university and sometimes also apply. Especially at private universities that cooperate with companies, students need the approval of a company. At the very least, fees are payable for enrollment in addition to the semester fees. However, there is sometimes another hurdle. The admission restriction, the numerus clausus or NC for short. Medicine is a good example of an admission restriction. Every year over 50,000 people in Germany want to study medicine. However, there are only just under 10,000 places available. Therefore, every applicant needs an excellent Abitur certificate. If you want to start studying medicine straight after leaving school, you need an average grade of currently 1.1. This is where I mentioned the grading system. This means that you need the best grade in almost all subjects to be accepted directly. Alternatively, there is the option of adding waiting semesters to achieve the numerous clauses. For example, some people do a voluntary social year or perhaps first do an apprenticeship in the emergency service or as a nurse to bridge the waiting period. In such admission restricted degree programs, you will first be granted admission after fulfilling the requirements to be allowed to enroll. In any case, you must enroll and matriculate. You will then receive a certificate of enrollment from the university. Another hurdle may be that some degree courses are entirely or partially in German. In this case, foreign applicants should find out whether and what level of German is required and possibly seek preparation at a preparatory college. And which university is particularly good? In contrast to other countries, nobody in Germany is interested in where a university is ranked. As with medical universities, there are only a few, so people are happy to get a place at one, and others study at a nearby university. While some university cities such as Münster, Munich or Freiburg attract people from all over Germany or the whole world, many people from the surrounding area study at Paderborn University, who commute to the university every day and still live at home. If the university is state recognized, the degree is recognized everywhere. In my work with various HR departments, I have never seen a company reject an applicant because their degree was not from a particular university. Max Yoko explains this in more detail in this video. Students here are more interested in whether the relevant department is good, whether acquaintances recommend a department or university, and also whether you deliberately want to go far away from home or not. Well, if you come from abroad, you are probably always quite far away. If the video was informative, you are welcome to share it with others. If something was missing or if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. D22 2023 more than 458,000 students came from abroad out of a total of around 2.9 million students in Germany. This represents there were the liberal arts which were of course far superior to the practical arts. Students studied grammar, rhetoric, dialects Later, legal and medical studies were added. The minor consecration that you received as a stu
career in its own right. After a few years in the work world, you can then also pursue a promotion doctorate, EA uh, doctoral degree on the study location and the rent prices there, it can also be tied in a flared chat. 